individuals. Uh, after a rather difficult dungeon, you guys all kicked a hell of a lot of ass. Um, mostly because it's just not going to be fun to try and figure all this shit out and everything. Uh, we're just going to say a black tentacle comes up from the ground, absorbs our warlock friend, and he is gone. Oh. R.I.P. Leth. Oh, we <laughs> hardly knew ye for a night. <laughs> wait, wait, he was paralyzed now, right? Uh, yeah, the, the hand took him. The tentacle took him. Uh, he is with uh, Cthulhu now. Oh. And, um, I hate it when that I'm happens. So well, no, he wanted Why to be Cthulhu? with Cthulhu. He wanted to oh, be he with wanted Cthulhu. To be. Okay. Right, right. So it's, it's actually not all that bad. Um, <laughs> it's just easier than you guys having to play this game of trying to figure out where he, you know what to do with his body and all that especially with him not playing uh, we could just give him like a standard you know just burn his corpse fucking make our way <laughs> you know give him a viking funeral but without the water <laughs> throw him in the the coffin uh, or we could throw him in the pit for the snake too the snake's dead the snake the snake is dead. Dead. Oh, you, oh that's right you killed the snake, we killed the snake. <laughs> after they killed those those poor kobolds <laughs> yes um Thankfully, the paladin's powers did not disappear after that. Lucky. Uh, do you guys close. need a brief recap on everything at all? Or are you, um, what would you guys prefer? Just to get into it? Or uh, do you want a short recap? Um, what do you guys think? Um, I'm good to go. I'm uh, good to go. If anybody else wants a recap, I'm good. Uh, you, you went through a dungeon. You're in the Ender Ruins of Kashaval. Uh, you did find your exit, which is right over here. Um, I'm going to change my color, actually, to something a little more visible. I'll do that. Um, that looked to be the exit out of here. Uh, you guys did decide that you were going to keep exploring a little bit more. And uh, through a pretty hell of a fight... Uh, managed to survive, and uh, I believe acquire some pretty decent loot, if I recall. Yes. Yep. Uh, I know that tonight we have a hard stop around 9 o'clock. and oh. uh, Especially considering last time, where I, I may have gone just a little bit over. <laughs> uh, I'm going to try and keep a much better track on, on the time now. Unfortunately, what I do for streaming is I, um, I make uh, the stream full screen. I make the... Um, Rather, just take the whole monitor and I, I press F11 so it covers the whole screen. So I don't have my clock, but I do have a phone. So uh, I got an alarm set. Um, we'll, we'll make sure we're good. Um, is there anything you guys want to take care of prior to getting out of here? I think we got everything in the dungeon, right? Yeah, I think so. Uh, yeah, you've probably cleaned out the dungeon pretty effectively. I mean, I'm good to go ahead and move forward. Can, can you guys all make sure you can move the little girl that's near that pit? You oh, should be yeah. able to. Uh, and if all of you are doing it, it it's probably going to make her look a little erratic. Um, but that's her. And, uh, you know, you can throw her into the traps or, or whatever it may be. Um, all right. Moving on and moving forward. Uh, you guys get through that tunnel. Um, let me uh, change to a little bit more catacomb. Uh, you guys make it through that tunnel there, and um, compared to an actual dungeon, it was very similar to that map that you found left on. Uh, mostly just a lot of one-way-to-go caverns. Every once in a while it, it breaks off a little bit. Um, it's definitely a tighter area, though. Are you guys looking to rest at all, or do you want to keep pressing forward? Uh, I'm pretty weakened. Yeah, I'd be fine with, like, a re like, what kind of rest do you mean? You want to do a long rest? You want to camp out here for, like, the night? I think the uh, embassy is still looking for us. Oh. Like, we haven't... No, well, we... Long rest... We, we, we camped out before already as well. Yes. So, um... It's been, let's say, nine-ish hours since we've disappeared. Yeah, that's probably about a fair. I um, because a long rest doesn't have to be eight hours. I think it's a minimum of six hours. So if you were oh. just going to do your minimum rest, um, even though it takes a long time to play through a dungeon, 
things actually go a lot quicker. I mean, I, I'd imagine... Although you guys did stop and explore some stuff. Yeah. 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 Um, you're probably looking, based on internal clocks and all that, maybe around 10 to 11 a.m. <laughs> because you were in that prison cell, right? You made your way out oh, around yeah. midnight. That's when you slept after you got out of there. Mm-hmm. So you're probably looking at around 10 or 11. Do we know where the uh, exit is going? Like where in the town it's going to exit to? You do not. Um, you don't even really know if it's going to go in the town at all. Shit. Should we scout the tunnel maybe and see how far we get? Uh, I can't scout. I'm too weakened. I think, um, yeah, before we leave the dungeon, just in case we run into any other trouble, we should um, rest up. We have a little campfire here. We can rest up in the camp near the tunnel. Okay. You guys already used your uh, your um, rest tokens, though. Like your healing tokens for short rests or whatever. Yeah. You guys have used, like, two at least. I'd use all three um, of those. Yeah, I think I used two. So. I've used two. I think we need to... Tech... Technically, to take advantage of fourth level, you are going to need to rest. Yeah, so... Okay, let's rest then. Let's all... Let's just rest before we leave at this uh, this camp with all these dead <laughs> things. The huge dead giant. He provide pretty warm. You know, he just wrap up in his arms. Okay. <laughs> so <You know>. comfortable. <laughs> um, sure. So all of you guys, feel free to take a long rest. Um, if you look on your character sheets... Oops. So I, there should be a button for long rest. If I can find it. Right? I'm not losing my mind. Or is that in a different character sheet I'm thinking? I've never seen one. Yeah, I don't know where that button is. It must but... be in a different yeah. character sheet I'm thinking of. Um, Go ahead then and just readjust your hit points to everything it needs to be. And um, all of that. And because, you know, you guys have already survived pretty much hell and back, we will say that it was a fairly calm and uneventful rest. Hey. <laughs> um, that tunnel in front of you, however, looks to be really the only place to go. Um, so I assume the plan is to go through that and continue. Yep. Yeah. So moving through that, um, it is fairly disorienting, even for Redmain. A lot of the paths seem to double up around itself, um, just odd spirals that uh, really don't seem naturally made. Seem much more like they were magically made and somehow held up. Uh, it doesn't really take a genius architect to figure out that if these dungeons are all throughout Kashaval, and if these ruins are all throughout Kashaval, it doesn't really work physics-wise that the town hasn't collapsed in on itself. There are definitely some powerful magics running through this. Um, every once in a while, you know, as you're moving through, um, you do kind of see a bit of a bluish glow that tends to go across the wall. Um, just really, though, in peripheral vision, Nothing even that you could follow. Just kind of a... Almost like someone shined a flashlight just a little bit, put it across the wall, and then it, it disappeared in. Uh, you're continuing up the pathway, um, relying a little bit on Redmain to get you through as you are a resident dwarf, a uh, little bit on Dabster, who's been kind of keeping track, looking forward, keeping his ears open. Um, until you finally get towards what seems to be obstruction in the way, just kind of the end of a path. And um, it actually looks like crates. Um, can everybody roll me a perception check? Nice. Nice, Staffster. <laughs> Reverse crit and crit. I can't believe I rolled a 10. I usually roll a lot higher. 
it's it's getting about the. I mean, your other roll was a twenty-one, right? So you're you know, let's it's better to burn it on that. Yeah. Averages. Um, you guys are at the obstruction now, where you're kind of planning together what to do. Uh, I turn to my party and uh, I whisper, "Do you guys uh, do you guys uh, hear that? It sounds like music." No, I don't hear anything. Are you high again? <laughs> no, I didn't eat those mushrooms that we found, so. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure I hear music past these crates. I don't know. You sure it's not in the crates? Uh, could be. Uh, can I look past the crates at all? They're obstructing the way you'd have to kind of push them. What kind of music is it? Um, as he kind of points it out and you put your ear to the crate. It doesn't seem to be coming from the crate, but actually past it. It um, just kind of sounds like upbeat tavern music. Okay. Um, can I look at the crates to see if they're like explosives or something? Uh, just from a look of wood on the crate, it they're not painted red with a little skull and TNT on them. Okay. They're just wooden crates. Can you, I... Uh, uh, sorry, what was that, Zephyr? Can I smell them? Sure. Um, roll me roll me perception on that. I'm going to see if you're getting through the wood. He's, he's, he's smelling. Oh. <laughs> he's smelling those crates. <laughs> I mean, Davster just puts his nose right there, finds a little seam in the boards, and just <laughs> right up in there. Uh, there are apples in there. Apples? Apples. It smells like apples, guys. <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> um, does Redmain recognize the song? Does he recognize the smell? The song. The song? Um, let me see what that might be. Uh, knowledge history, I think, would be the best one. Unless there's a better check for a song, I would think knowledge history would be the best. Um, and I was going to say, go with advantage. Um, it's a fairly common tavern song. Uh, the Blind Tinker. Uh, guys, I think we're right next to a tavern. Oh. Like, if we push these boxes out, we'll probably be in a, a tavern right now. Okay, so, uh... Um, Alright. <laughs> let's, uh... Let's uh, Red, we... Red May knocks on the boxes. Hello? Why would you do that? <laughs> Zephyr cr here, or right? Dabster cringes a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you have no, re no reply, no response. Can I look uh, for, like, a company name on the boxes? I mean, crates? There's none that you see. Okay, um, can I try to open one crate? Well, they're obstructing the way, so to speak. You'd have to push it out of the way, or you can try, like, ripping boards from it, if you wanted to, into your area. How about we, uh, how about we try moving these really carefully, and, uh, if there is a tavern on this side, we try and blend in until we can leave the tavern and get out of here. I mean, it's probably going to be leading to the storage room, though, right? That'd be even better. That would give us more time to prepare. But we move the boxes really quietly so that nobody notices us coming from a huge hole in the wall. But what if we like come in into like the kitchen and there's like a bunch of cooks that know we're not supposed to be here? Uh, we got Same. lost. Same <laughs> picture. For us Snap their necks. Okay. And then take their their clothing and blend in. Okay. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm um, Elliot, um, Ostrovix, go in and take a crate or whatever. Good, Ostrovix, roll me a, um, athletics check. Uh, the crates are surprisingly heavy, but it's not too, too difficult to, um, start moving them out of the way. There's some barrels and stuff as you're kind of pushing stuff and, um, kind of bringing some stuff back, other stuff kind of pushing forward a little bit. And... We're here. Oh shit. Ooh. 
Cool. Is there like a like in the Hobbit, like a thing we can go into, like go inside a barrel and go down the river? Ah, uh, there is no <laughs> river. Okay. Are we the Hobbit now? Uh, you guys want to eat any apples? You guys are probably fairly hungry. Um, there is a wide collection. I mean, there's basically what you see in front of you. A ton of barrels, crates, boxes, all kinds of goodness. Kind of depends on uh, what you're looking to do. Well, I mean, mm. if we're underneath a business, they probably belong to that business. We'd be stealing these apples from them and leaving through their front door with stolen apples. Hmm. Yeah, we shouldn't take apples, guys. And then I wink at Davster. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm trying to uh, reform, I think. So I would be, like, normally I would like just take the apples, but I'm trying to reform, so... I'm kind of doubting my girl. They can all skip this time, though. They're probably, um... We're probably fugitives right now, and yeah. some authorities will be looking for us, so we probably should put on some kind of disguise before we go up there. I mean, we have uh, the some clothing, I guess. Yeah, we got the, the ceremonial robes and um, some Plague Doctor robes, I think. I don't know if it's a good idea to put on the masks, though. I think it'll be a little bit too sketchy. Well, because, like... Daphster has a mask. I mean, if you guys want... Hey, we can do that if you want. I just don't think it's the best idea. Um, I think we should exit out into the tavern in separate groups so that it looks like we're not all together. So, uh, Anjali, you can go with the girl and okay. uh, pretend that you're an elven family. Um, I, me and... Um, me and Redmain will put on the ceremonial robes and pretend that we're traveling... Uh, monks or no priests and uh, Davster you can put on your plague mask and pretend that you're a traveling doctor um, but we will exit different times and make sure the coast is clear before we exit how does that sound for an idea sounds I'm, good I'm down for that that sounds like a plan but that's the kitchen though right there well that's why we gotta we, you, uh, you should peer through the door and see if yeah. there's anyone watching before we all exit Okay. Yeah, Why don't you guys do that, uh, uh, boots of sneaking? You need boots of sneaking. Yeah. I'll, I'll uh... show you. wearing them. Something. <laughs> they have to. They have to be attuned, no? The boots the of Elven kind? No. I don't, oh. I don't awesome. believe. I don't believe the boots of Elven kind do. Um. Should I open up another tab over here that I can look up stuff? I don't believe though. I don't think they're powerful enough. Uh, no, they do not require attunement. Okay. Does uh, whoever is wearing them want to give them to me? I think you had them. I don't think anyone was really wearing them. I think they're just in our bag. Okay. Yeah. Uh, What's in a? Uh... Oh, you're mute, Dab, sir. Yeah. There you go. Hello. Hey. Okay. So I'm wearing them. Uh, in, so uh... I guess we all get changed into our separate costumes. As... Uh, quietly as possible. You know what? It was the it was like a profile according to me wearing the plague doctor mask. So maybe if I take it off, it'll be a better disguise. Yeah, yeah. I mean you've never taken the mask off before, so that's how right. most people probably know you. Fuck okay. it, mask off. <laughs> By taking <laughs> off the mask, you're actually putting on a mask. Ooh. It's kind of deep. Sorry. Ooh, that's oh. really deep. Put on a mask and you see people's real face. <laughs> I take off the mask, I guess, then. Okay, I go up to here and I uh, peek uh, this way. Do I see anything? You do not. It doesn't uh, look like anyone's down here right now. Okay, peek under the staircase. You could. Uh, more chairs and... Um... Just kind of some basic tools. Okay. Um, take one step, I guess. Look up here. Um, just kind of looking up the stairs. Uh, you do see which kind of looks like a small room. But okay. it's obvious hard, 
obviously hard to really tell without going up there. Okay, well, I take a few more steps, try to peek in. And just to make life a little bit easier, uh, I think there is a way that you can just move one player, but I'm not sure how to do it, so we're just going to move everybody. Whoa. Oh, it's Belly. Oh my god, it's Belly. Belly is Belly. He's back! <laughs> With a vengeance. Oh god! No! <laughs> no! <laughs> Fuck! Um, right now, Dabster, you're the only one that's oh near god. the top of the stairs. The rest okay. of the group is where they are. I kind of just threw them up here, um, just to make it a little bit easier. Um, is this a door? It is. Shit. No, no, we gotta give a game plan now, guys. Um, can I look at the flooring to see what, can, what kind of type it is? Like if it's elven wood or something? Oh, nothing nearly that nice. Why would that matter? It's kind of grimy and a little bit rotted in places. Okay, um... Yikes. Can I, uh, smell beyond... <laughs> can I try to smell beyond the door right here? I, I mean, you could smell it pretty obvious. Here, uh, oh my God. smells like a kitchen. <laughs> okay. Um, can I try to peek through the door somehow? Sure, roll a stealth. Because you're going to open up the door a little bit. Sure. Oh, yeah. 25, by the way. Yeah. So you definitely do see a guy, um, looks like he's cooking in tending to uh, his foods there. You see him um, kind of cutting up some stuff, going over to the stew. He, like, sticks his whole hand in there. Oh. Kind of rubs himself, scratches his butt a little bit, takes another sip. <clears throat> okay. Um, is he... So he's looking in this direction? He's totally focused on his food right now. Fuck. Uh, is there is there like a thing if you sneak up in someone you can just instantly kill them or something? You could backstab them. Oh, that's a good idea. Is it actually Belly though? Or is it just some fat guy? It's just a fat guy. <laughs> oh thank god. Um I mean you you could absolutely just sneak in. Um assuming that he's nothing special, a backstab is uh gonna kill him is there any way that we can subdue him without killing him like a sleeper move or some shit um you probably could okay uh, that would I, I mean dabster's not super subtle i there is non-lethal damage in the game but when you're talking about a backstab into uh someone that there's there's no real good way of not killing them so then, what if I were to just kind of like, uh, like do uh, that Dash thing? Is the one up there right, now, right? right, Dexter so is only the one up there, but yeah. Okay, I think I'll uh, I'll just close the door <laughs> quietly. Yep. Okay, uh, sneak back down. Mm -hmm. Um, and then go back to my team. Yeah, I mean, I'm just going to leave it on this map, unless you prefer the other map if you want to set up something down there. I guess, um, looks like a kitchen or something. I'm pretty sure we're in a tavern. Um, there's one guy, he looks like a pretty big guy, pretty well-fed. Um, he's alone, but I don't know what goes beyond uh, this one room that I saw, so there could be a ton of other people. Um... We know it's like 11 a.m. What do you guys think about like waiting out the uh, working day or something? Don't we don't we rest so it's not yeah, like we rest later? So it's like later in the day. Oh, that's right. So it would be like 5 p.m. now. Yeah, you're yeah. looking around four or five. Do we know like in general if people in this world like stop working after some kind of hour? Not that you're aware of. Taverns are probably open really late too, and during that time, someone uh, someone might come down here and check the storeroom for or get something. Okay. Mm. You just wanna wait for someone to come in, and then we 
sleep them, and then we wait for the next guy to come in to check up on him. We sleep that guy. So we're just gonna keep <laughs> sleeping everyone until bodies start piling up in this room that you saw this guy in. Yeah. How are we? All right, and then we're just gonna like own the tavern afterwards and just keep putting people to sleep <laughs> forever. Oh, you can. Uh, Thrill, you should see the basement, right? Yeah, I do. Oh, sweet! Uh, I don't know how to get rid of you then, though. Like, how do I, how do I not, do I have to move you back to... Hang on. If I do that, then... I don't... That's, that's a workable thing. I, can, if I just throw that... I don't know how to just get rid of you from there. That's okay, though. Um, I'll, I'll experiment around a little more with this. Uh, thank you, Glasswalker Marts. I'll have to play around with that a little bit more. Uh, sorry, guys, go ahead. Um, uh, how about I try charming him, and then he'll let us pass, and if that doesn't work, we'll, we'll put him to sleep. Okay, I like that. Okay, take these boots. <laughs> these boots? Okay. <laughs> I, I put on the boots. Okay. They're comfy. That's good. That's that's really good. I'm going to hide under the stairs, by the way. Okay. Are you going up, Red Main? Yeah, I'll uh, I'll do the same thing uh, Davster did, where he creeps up in the door and, like, peers through. Okay. Uh, go ahead and roll stealth just to open up that door a little bit, because he did close it. Oh, jeez. I, do I get a advantage because of the boots, or...? Yeah. Not moving. Right. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, boy. Enough, yeah, uh, the advantage would come from moving, but he's not. Right. I can't. Damn it. What if I open the door with my feet? <laughs> uh, creative, but no. Damn it. Why? Um. Hang you on. I'm, I'm going to reconnect. Uh, something's a little messed up with my. The door right, flies into him. Right. One there. Yeah, there we go. All right, Red Main. All right, I'll cast Charm Person then. Go ahead and just link it. Oh. Let's see Dead. here. Oi! Hello to you, Larry, little one! I... Hey, big fella! Yeah. I, I've been making up something special tonight. You, you oh, want a taste? I love your soup. Oh, oh, here, here, here. Mm. Tummy, me... Tummy, Tummy will set you up. Tummy walks over. Tummy? Tummy. Uh, tummy. Tummy? Uh, tummy? Is he no belly? <laughs> oh my god, is he Belly's brother? <laughs> uh, how's, how's your brother Belly? <laughs> oh, be Belly's good. Belly, Belly's kind of busy. He's He's been uh, acting as a, as a guard of some sort or, or something. I don't, but, I mean, you know old Tummy. Tommy just just likes to just stick to his food. You know, I, I, I'm not a big fan of the bashing and the clubbing. I, not, not when I don't need to, right? Because, because sometimes you needs to bash and you needs to club. But, but right, I'll, I'll, right, I'll try, right. try, try, try the soup. What, what do you think? What do you think? Uh, I'll, I'll take some of the soup and uh, I'll, uh, I'll take like a little tiny bit mm -hmm. with in my hand and s sip it, and I, and I just say, oh, that's the best one you had yet. Oh, you know, you know, it's 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 a darndest, darndest thing. I I know we've and been I, friends I, I spit for some the, time. I spit the rest of it into the, back into the soup. Uh, better save some for the rest of them. Oh, yeah, you, you don't want to get Tommy in trouble. I yeah yeah. You know, I, hey, I know Tommy, we've been I friends got, for got... the longest time. What what's your name again? Oh, my my name is uh, uh, Red <laughs> Red Boy. Red Boy, Red Boy, right, right. I, you know, I, I I think I think Tommy's just been drinking a little too much, and uh, hey, oh, I mean, we we've been friends for, well, I I mean, I know I've known you for whatever. I I just ah, 
Regardless, you like Tommy's food. You hitting the barrels again, boy. Wow. Yeah, I mean, you know I got in trouble last time drinking on the job a little boy. Yeah, right. You know, I, I, he, he, he walks over. He uh, grabs right. out a, a bottle there and... Well, yeah, no, I I, I'll refresh and jelly. So he, he, like, bottoms up it. And then you could just kind of hear the sound of... I, okay. I, I didn't see any for Red Boy. I'm sorry. You, oh. you, want, you want a drink? It, yes, it's, please. It's Red all please. belly or er, tummy backwash. Oh, uh, you, you know, tummy. I got. I actually have uh, some work to do. I got some uh, people down there. We're, we're gonna. We're gonna uh, come out and uh, bring some kegs up. Oh, oh good. Uh, you got uh, some of the, the the carrots, the onion, and the and the taters. You you bring them up, and uh, if you could if you could have your, you know, I, I don't I don't remember your friends. You said you got more down there. Yeah, we we came through. I, you must have been uh, probably too busy working on the soup. It's oh, really good. Yeah. All right, good enough. Well, I mean, any friend of Red Boy's a friend of mine. Yeah, yeah. All right, hey, uh, guys, come up. Bring up, bring up some carrots and stuff. We need uh, we need more <laughs> for the soup. Okay, look for carrots, I guess. Yeah, we'll look for carrots. Yeah, I mean, I it's, guess, uh, it's easy enough to find some yeah. taters, onions, carrots, all that. I'll take some uh, taters. <laughs> I put two huge barrels under my arms, one of taters and one of onions. Good I'll pick up a bunch of fucking taters, too. No, we need carrots. What do you mean? Fine, I'll pick up fucking carrots, then. <laughs> like overcooked. <laughs> oh my god, don't even get me started. <laughs> Mike? Sir! <laughs> <laughs> all right, good enough. You guys all coming up? Yep. 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 Hey, hey, what? What? What are these? Are they? Are these your friends, Red Boy? Yeah. Boy. Uh, I met him uh, yesterday. Uh, they're all good lads. Oh, they just needed some work, you know. They uh, I like uh, helping out. The Elven lass there. She, you know, I. I should introduce you to me brother Belly. He's he's got a thing for elves. <laughs> if if you're looking, I you know. Um, I'm sorry. I'm married to my work, but I appreciate the offer. Thank you. Tommy too. Tommy too. <laughs> he scratches his butt a little more. Starts uh, <laughs> right afterwards grabbing the ingredients, throwing it into the soup. There's definitely a flavor that goes into this soup. Um. He's just covered in sweat. I mean, as you see there, shirtless, and it's it's not the most attractive sight you've ever seen. But, uh, you know, well, you yeah, find yourself a table, and uh, you you gotta promise to try some of my specialty when uh, when I finish with it. Sure. For sure. That sounds good. Guess we start walking down. All right, tell me what do you want? What do you want these crates? Uh, you just just put them on the sides there. All right, we're gonna go grab a table. I'm gonna take my I'm gonna take my thirty minutes. All right. Yep, 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 yep. And he's right. already back in uh, full dicing, cutting, serving mode. Uh, bring bring us some of the the good stuff, you know. Oh, be belly knows or Tommy, fuck, <laughs> Tommy knows what you <laughs> need. <laughs> right, I whisper to everyone, don't drink the soup. <laughs> What? what? It's bad. <laughs> Alright, so sh should we go grab a table? Yeah, let's go grab a table. Or should we, like, get out of here? Fine, let's go grab a table. Oh, wait. Annalyn. Uh, Annalyn's with I, us. I, I grabbed her. Don't worry, she's with me. Um... While I while we all sit down, I, I quickly whispered everybody, guys, we're still dressed a little differently than each other. Oh. We might be looking for a big group of us. Wait, what? What do we mean we're dressed differently? You guys all disguised. Yeah. So we good, right? You did. It's just an odd group to put all at a table. Okay. Oh, should we put a different good. table then? We're all gonna sit at different tables, okay? Uh, all, no, all the tables are taken. It looks like. Shit. 
Uh, maybe one of you has to go to the washroom and uh, maybe change. <laughs> we're we're already here. changed. <laughs> oh, you mean change back into our Yeah, like change back. <laughs> Wait, but then we... weren't they going to identify us? Yeah. Well, fuck then. Okay, then let's just sit here. <laughs> Why aren't we leaving is the better question. Yeah, Why are we sitting right. here? Uh, so... Red May needs some mail. <laughs> I haven't been in a tavern for a hundred years. <laughs> a woman starts to approach you. Oh, fuck. <laughs> well, there looks like a group of hungry, uh, hungry travelers. What, what can I be getting for you this evening? What's your best? Oh, everything's the best here. Are you looking food or are you looking drink? Both. Yeah. Oh, well, our chef makes some of the greatest soup that you'll ever have in your life. Uh, people keep coming and coming for it. Uh, beyond that, we uh, do have a number of ales in the back or just uh, just something a little stronger if you're looking. Stronger? We, we do have some of the whiskeys in the back there, if oh. you're, you're interested. Can I get a loaf of bread for me and the girl here? Oh, certainly. Just a... Just, Thank you. That, that's it? Just a... a just bread? for now, just the, the biggest loaf of bread you can get. For the table. Okay. And anything else? Do you guys want drinks? <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> uh... I have a big bottle of that uh, whiskey you're talking about. Oh, certainly. And uh, how big of a bottle and how nice of a whiskey are you talking? Uh, probably nicest, nicest you could get, and biggest as you could get. I like, I like my drink. Well, let, <laughs> you sound drunk already. <laughs> let, let me talk to the. I like uh, my drink. <laughs> let me talk to the barkeep. And uh, I'll see what I'll see what we can come up for you. Um, anything else for the rest of you? Uh, just bread and ale for me, please. Yeah. I'll take some water. Water. <laughs> water? What the fuck? Yeah, You're drinking with me, boy. Uh, just just water for you then, there, lad. Oh, uh, some bread, maybe some uh, butter. Some bread. Oh yeah, butter you're, for the bread's a good call. You're you're living quite dangerously, I can tell. Oh. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> all right. And uh, she walks back there. Um, some shifting around. Dude over here um, makes his way out. Uh, we have other guys come in, join. Um, she comes back with a corked up, pretty nice bottle, roughly of that size, red mane. Um, looks fairly indistinct, no real markings on her or anything. Barkeep has promised this is the best whiskey we have in the house. It's an old dwarvish recipe, if you would believe it. Alright, I'll uh, uncork it and give it a swig. You just pull it right from the bottle? Yeah, I like uncork it with my teeth and just go just down the hatch. Alright. Um, it's not the best you've ever had, but considering the tavern itself is kind of a little bit seedy, it's surprisingly good. Um, she waits to see your reaction. She does have some glasses on her tray, but, uh, I, uh, I take I won't be needing any of these? Uh, th uh, this is, uh, this is great, thank you, um, but I'll, I'll, uh, I'll take the glasses, uh, maybe my friends will enjoy some too. So, she put some glasses out in front of you guys, and, uh, she starts heading back into the back area there, placing the order, Duder over here. He comes to the bar. They're sitting chatting. These two are getting a little friendlier, talking. Uh, dancing chicks coming out. Talking with these guys at the table while that guy continues to play. How long does your spell last? Uh, an hour. Okay. Hey, guys. 
We should we should probably leave. Okay. You guys don't want any of this. When we're done we eating pass. as fast as we can. Thanks though. Yes, Marty. Maybe someone should go up to the bartender and ask for news. Uh yeah, you wanna do that? No. Someone else do it. Okay. Oh, I'll do it. Okay. Uh, I'll go up to the bartender. Mm -hmm. Uh, bartender, any, uh, any news? Any rumors around here? News and rumors? What, uh, what you say? And you just, you just looking for, for the local type or what? What was that? You just looking for the local type or what? I know. Any anything big going around here? Any? Uh, I know I'm new to town, so just looking for work. He um strokes his chin a little bit. Roll me a perception check. Fuck. You see it on his finger. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> He's married. He is married. He's married. Married to the cult. Oh, God! <laughs> well, Got uh, him. I heard there there's some folks, um, you know, local type area that uh, looks like a dwarf, an elf, a dragonborn, and a human causing all kinds of trouble. <laughs> around here you know killing ambassadors and uh yikes kidnapping girls <laughs> oh can i pour you another drink there uh i'm fine i have this uh the the best and biggest bottle of whiskey here but um i was wondering would you like to play a game maybe i would i would uh i i uh, take out a, a knife from uh, my pocket or something, and then uh, I play. Ever hear of a uh, fish finger fillet? I don't know. Oh, don't I don't know if that's uh... absolutely. It's it's one of my favorites. Here. Uh, uh Would you would you be keen to play? Absolutely. Okay. Dabster, roll percep. Uh, actually, all the rest of you, uh, roll perception. Angelie's complaining about 11s. Meanwhile, I'm over here rolling twos. <laughs> <laughs> I see some people starting to move around you. So, uh, how do you like to play your game? Wait, are they talking to us or is he No, talk bartender to, uh, Redmayne. Well, uh, rules are we just put our hands down and, uh, try to stab in between the fingers. Alright. As fast as you can. You want to go first, then? Uh, sure. I'll go first. Uh, I can see it's, uh, might be your first time. <laughs> Something like that. Uh, do, we... do I roll something? Um... Yeah, you, um... He, you put your hand down on the table. You go to start um, making your way. Roll uh, dexterity. So you clip your hand pretty bad. Uh, roll a d4. So take two points of damage. Oh, that was a d3. Give me a d4. Just roll a d1 and add it. <laughs> Not sure it quite works that way. Well, quit the yep. game by accident. There you go. Yeah, roll me a d4. Alright, 
good enough to take three points of damage as you skewer into yourself. <laughs> <laughs> um, the dude at the end here um, seems to be kind of a rogue figure, just falls on the floor laughing his ass off. <laughs> Uh, a number of, you know, bunch of people look over at him. Uh, Redmane, roll me, um, roll me perception. You were kind of focusing down on your hand, um, seeing the blood of that. That guy crashed down, um, over on your right here. Uh, with a number of people going around looking there. You see the bartender looking right behind the bar. Got a huge ass longsword out, literally coming right at you. Um, thankfully, you were able to kind of spot it in time, so it's not an automatic hit. Everybody, roll initiative. <sighs> uh, give me a second to pull that up. And. Uh, sorry, I'm gonna remove you guys all from it just to get a whole new fresh um, thing there. I stab myself. <laughs> and I'm gonna just do one for um, NPCs as well as they're kind of reacting to what's going on. I guess I should change the music a little, shouldn't I? <coughs> 16. That's a friendly bar fight. Nice calm one. <laughs> well, let's do... I really wish there was more than like... Actually, I like this one better. Alright. Um... Dadster, did you throw in your initiate? Not yet. Let me get that for you. Red main. Okay. Dadster. Um, you see the guys behind you then um, looking like they're approaching rather menacingly. Okay. Um, what if I do like a big meme and, uh, okay, watch this. Um, okay, I'm gonna go over here. 20. Right? I like jump on the table. Right? Mm hmm. I pick up one of the Beerus uh, with my um, use an object meme. Okay. And then I throw it at this guy. <laughs> Alright. Okay, do I roll for that? Uh, yeah. You're picking up a beer mug and throwing it at a random patron. Exactly. <laughs> Dabster, you have a bow! <laughs> I think he's just trying to... Uh, go ahead and just roll um, what you would for a bow. I know you're not actually using it, though. Alright, you clock him right on the back of the head with a beer mug, and his face just crunches into the bar, into his food. Okay, and then I'm gonna use my remaining ten to go here, I guess. Okay. Okay, and turn. For a fairly big guy, he is incredibly dexterous. Um, jumps right at the bar there, Red Mane, and goes to swing at you. A 10 will miss? Yeah. And a 10 will miss. Angeli. Uh, actually, this guy is going to head over to Davster. Is there anyone coming over to my direction right now? There will be. Uh, Davster, 13 misses? Uh... It should. Yeah. Yeah. And his second attack. A 22 will hit, though. 
Um, yep. 17 points of damage, is that right? Yikes. Uh, oh my no, God. It's, do it's doing a plus six for both attacks. So, hang on here. Um, that's not accurate. It's 1d8 plus, it's just 11 points of damage. Uh, because he did roll an eight. It is, yeah, it's just 11 points of damage. Ignore that, plus six. Yeah. Um, one is going to come up here onto you, Angeli. Same thing. Oh, fuck. Attack an eight will miss. Yep. And a 16. It hits. Take eight points of damage. Now, we have a new fun spell. The priest in the back begins to chant. Oh, shit. Uh, is, is this the priest? The dude in the back there. As he casts this. <laughs> Um, a bunch of little demonic fiend duders jump out. Let me move him to where he should be. And he's got a 15 foot radius on that. Is that right? That's too short. It should be there. Um... When a creature enters this area, ah, uh, you're not entering it for the first time. You're already in it, right? Failed save. The creature. Yeah. All right. So if you start your turn there, it'll affect you. <sighs> Fuck. Red me. I'm going to uh, cast ice knife and uh, shoot it at the priest. Okay. Uh, let's see, you are at disadvantage because someone is in melee with you. Oh, I am? Okay. Yep. Um, because that's still an attack, right? Yes, it's a yeah. ranged attack. So, go ahead and roll that attack at disadvantage. It'll miss regardless, so um, no worries to continue on that. It, uh, Ice Knight goes flying by. Angeli! It still, uh, it still does damage if it misses, though. Target speed, Hit or miss. Short then explodes target and each creature within five feet of it. Oh! With a bite, explode, must six eight on the dexterity saving throw. Or take 2d6. Oh, that's really nice. Cool. Um, Alright, so for the priest. Uh, sorry, let me bring up my... Just real quick here. The priest fails. And as far as the veteran goes... The veteran also fails. So uh, roll 2d6 damage if you would for me. That's really nice. Oh. Alright, minus nine, and... You do a concentration saving throw he on the spell. And... He does not maintain concentration. Good enough. Perfect for Angeli to, uh, not take any major damage from that. Yeah. Good job. Good deal. Alright. <laughs> <sighs> what are you doing, Angeli? Hmm. Uh, keeps, like, okay. blacking out for me, and I keep having to refresh to hear her. Firstly, I'm gonna tell the girl to... Well, I'm gonna, like, push her under the table. Like, go hide. Mm -hmm. That's the first thing I'm gonna do. So she's under the table now. And I'm gonna I'm gonna attack the priest with my unarmed attack. 
Okay. You have to get closer, no? The the priest, you'd have to move into him. Okay, then I move. Okay. And I'm gonna unarmed attack. Uh, 19 will hit. Six points of damage. I'm gonna go ahead again. And, oh there, so yeah, that does it. A... I also get plus two armor class this turn for that. For not using your weapon, right? Yes. Um, Ostrovix. Uh, as, as I move forward uh, past the table and around the girl to kind of defend her, I yell, like, why are we fighting? <laughs> because I don't know what happened. And then I'm going to make an attack on uh, this guy. Okay. open all this stuff and refresh uh and i will attack him with my new longsword so that eight will miss damn who did right. who did dabster hit with the the mug again this dude here <laughs> uh they just haven't most people haven't had a chance to really react to what's going on right now uh if you remember around is kind of six seconds uh i'm gonna have all of them go at the end of the round Oh, uh, that was Ostrobex. Oh. So let me uh, redo that. Um, people are fucking terrified. A uh, number of folks are just trying to make their way out, running and screaming. Um, Dudu got clocked on the back, kind of looks around, uh, sees you, but I said most people are trying to get the hell out of there um bar fights are probably somewhat common but not as common as you know actual blades and magic and shit flying about so, yeah. uh actually as this dude goes to run he's barely missed um does look like though the one uh dude here Tried to take a swing at him. Um, kind of the same with this. Just kind of move. As these guys move back to the corner there. Um, for your enjoyment, because uh, you start hearing yells and screams. You have another dude who's coming out, rushing down the stairs and makes his way into the doorway here. Yikes. Um, Dabster. Um, I think I'm gonna disengage. Okay. And move to, um, here, I guess. Okay. Um, and I'm gonna try to hit this guy. Oh, you can disengage as the bonus action. Yeah, exactly. Right. Yep, okay. Uh, 17. Um, 17 does hit. And sneak meme, right? It does, yep. So, uh, 10 damage total? Yeah. And that's it, because, uh, yeah. Yeah. Red main. Alright, I'm going to turn into a black bear. Oh, fun. Why does he have to be black? Because... Because why not? <laughs> uh, alright. You are a bear. Uh, that's your full action, though, to do that, isn't it? Yeah. Alright. Um, bartender is going to take another swing at you. Nine should miss? Uh, yes. Fourteen potentially hits? Fourteen hits as a bear, yeah. Alright, so take five points of damage. Alright, just gotta oh. find the health oh, for a bear. Yeah, your, your hit points readjust. Um, Angeli. Alright, I'm gonna unarmed attack again. Okay. The priest. Mm. 
16 does hit. 8 points of damage does drop him. Sick. Wow. Yes. Oh, I can still... You can still attack. I can... I'm gonna... Am I in range enough to attack this guy here? Which guy? That's next... This guy. Yep. Okay, sick. You don't even have to move that. if you didn't want to. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm gonna stay there and I'm just gonna attack him. Oh! 23 does hit. 8 points of damage. <coughs> All Sweet. Right. Uh, and that should be it for you, right? Yeah, that's it. Ostrovix. I'll make an attack again with my longsword. 13 does not hit. Continuing to roll really <laughs> low. If you had advantage, you'd, yeah. be, you'd be really well set. Did did my guys go... I, I only went with a bartender, didn't I? Yeah, you did. I did. Yes. Um, <laughs> sorry, so on to Anjali seeing his friend dropping. Duh, my mistake. Uh, 17 hits you. I have plus two armor class, so it doesn't. Actually, no, wait, yeah, it does, because I can't count. 16 hits. Anything higher than 16, yeah. All right, so me. take four points of damage. Okay. And a 21 will hit for another 11 points of damage. Oh. I'm not feeling too good, guys. Might need some heals soon. Dude runs in on Ostrovix. Oh! Yeah. Figures. That'll, uh, that'll definitely hit. Shit. So, um... It's 1d10, uh, 9 plus... Um... So hang on. Can't so it was a 9 and a 3, so a 12 plus, uh, 3. 15 points of damage. Alright. Yeah, I gotta fix this macro. Um, and a 14 does not hit you? No. Second guy here is gonna come running in. Cannot make it that far. He's gonna run to there. Uh, <laughs> I still don't know why we're fighting. <laughs> this dude uh, that you threw the mug at, Dabster, jumps behind the bar here and is hiding for his life. You gave a random guy a concussion for yeah. no reason. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh my god. <laughs> exactly according to my. <laughs> Poor guy. Uh, Dabster is just trying to start a bar fight. So, Ostrovix, we already <laughs> rolled you before. Dabster. Yep. Um, I'm gonna. Uh, stay here. Mm -hmm. And take a rapier attack. Uh, you won't do much with that. Um. Okay, I'll disengage, and I'll hide under the table. Okay. And turn. Very uh, very manly of you. <laughs> Good job, Daster. Red nice. Mate. Which table right. you're hiding under, Daster? The one with the little girl? Yeah, exactly. All right, I'm just gonna put you out of there. Red main. Okay, uh, I'm going to uh, attack the bartender. Mm -hmm. First, I'll do uh, a bite. Nine will not hit. And then uh, claws. Eleven will not hit. What? This guy's heavily armored. Uh, Eleven? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Eleven Just is wearing an apron of uh, shielding over here. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> Uh, and then I'll switch back to red main form. Okay. Uh, was... Going back to red main form? Yep. Yeah. Alright. Bartender's gonna take a swing at you. Oh, that Anyone hits. That will hit for six, uh, yeah, six points of damage. And seven points. Uh, 18 will hit too, right? Yeah. So that'll be a total of 15 points. Uh, 13. Stupid math. Right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, guard coming in on you, Ostrovix. Yep. 13 will miss. Yep. 16 
Little miss. And the other guard on you. Ties uh, in their favor, right? Ty is in. Fuck. Ty is sure. in the attacker's favor, right? Yeah, so that hits. Yeah. Yes. 11 damage? Yes. Oh, dude. Why the fuck are you under the table? <laughs> uh, seven will miss. Angeli. Alright, let's fucking, um... Uh, no, the dude's hitting you. Oh, well, I'm low! Guys, help me! I told you I was not uh, feeling good! Six points of damage, Stand next Angeli. to the big guy. Yeah, no I'm, uh, I'm at stand zero. near me to get any sort of thing. You could have hit him from here. Yup. Stand next to Ostrovix, he'll give you a disadvantage. Is uh, Angeli down? I'm, I'm she, down, yeah. She is unconscious. Um, Angeli. Yeah, what up? You're not, though. I'm not, what? though? Recover seven hit points. Um, all of a what? sudden, you what? just feel this powerful energy. As you're literally dropping, kind of just falling to the ground, it, like, resurges back into wow. you. Wow. All right. Seven hit points. Sick. Um, roll a, uh, roll a perception. Okay. All I needed to know. Fuck. Angeli, it's your turn. Okay, well, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move here. Oops. Oh. Not on top of Ostrovich. You will, you'll provoke an attack from this guy, then. <laughs> what right. the fuck? Who's so if you, if you move right here between them, you're okay. Okay, I'll do that, then. All right. Well, I might as well just attack. I mean, actually, you know what? Wait, wait, give me a sec. I'm going to check my sheet here. Well, um, not a horrible time to go all out. No? Okay. Kill the guy. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll unarmed, unarmed attack uh, this guy you... on the right here. I guess. Okay. Oh, there you go. Okay. Oh, Thank you. shit. Alright, so that's nine. Um... Yeah, so he'll take, on your first attack, a total of nine points of damage. Okay, uh, second attack. That doesn't hit, right? Uh, Twelve does 12. not hit. Okay. Um, you do have a number of tools at your advantage. Your flurry oh, of blows. Oh, yeah, 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 or... yeah, yeah. You know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use that. I just remembered it. I am going to spend a key point then to do... Flurry of blows. Good deal. Fuck. Nine won't do it. Twenty-four will though. Ail them out. Let's go. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> All right. Ostrovix. Which one did she attack? She... I attacked the one on the right. This guy. Of me. He's not looking yeah. great. Uh, he's not attacking me. I've got to deal with. I'm gonna attack this one. Uh, top left. You're attacking him. Uh, doesn't matter. Well, matters if you want to kill one. No, I rolled a nine. Oh. Hot. Yep, nope, that doesn't matter. Dabster. Um. Can I stab this guy's feet? No. You could at extreme, you could at a disadvantage. Oh. Okay, I'll, I'll surge out and uh, go here. Okay. And attack this guy. Uh, you know what? He's gonna be a disadvantage. Uh, does a 17 hit you? Yeah. Alright, take four points of damage then. Wait, who hit me? This guy. You left his threatened square. Oh, I wasn't hidden under the table? Yeah, you were under the table. Here. Wait, how does he see me? Cause it's a table. I mean, you're, you're, it's not a one foot high table. You're hiding under a dinner table in major combat. He's looking right at you. 
Yeah. I mean, you're you're not, you know, it's it's a table. It's not exactly like the best cover. Oh, that's unlucky. Okay, it I is. think this as well. Uh, twelve does not hit him. Can can what happen? Uh, I try to hit this guy. Is that what that twelve was? Yeah, yeah. That is not enough to hit him. Hmm. Okay, I think that's end turn then. Red main. Uh, I'm gonna cast Produce Flame on the bartender. Okay. Rip. Seven will not hit. Uh, does and, anything uh, happen on a Produce Flame that doesn't hit? Uh, no, it just misses. Alright. Uh, oh, you know what? Let's... Nah, uh... Do you want a high or low? Uh, high. Um... All right. High starts a fire or does not start a fire? Uh, starts a fire. Not enough to start a fire. Dang. Uh, I'll cast Healing Word on Ostrovix as my bonus action. Okay. God damn. Nice! Ostrovix, get eight hit points back. Okay. All right. Um, these two guys, he makes a run towards there. Can he run that far? Yeah, he could run that far with a double move. Um, making their way out. Oh, these guys are not here. Just trying to get the hell out of the bar. Um, you see every once in a while, someone runs, tries to just get out of this bar. Uh, dude on the side here is trying to scoop up and grab the girl. Um, no. She's not putting... I mean, she could put up some bit of a fight, but this is oh an armored God. guy. Can I, uh, can I move... Uh, she's in five feet of me. Can I move to shield her? With, uh, my, He's um... not attacking her. He's just going to grab at her mm. and you know um actually what he's gonna do he's gonna just flip this table um so it's like is it like this now like on its side like this it's upside down oh okay so just move uh actually i can i forgot i can do that these, these tables were mine. It's like that now. Ah, not like that. Like that. <laughs> um, How the hell do I erase? <laughs> uh, you have to pointer tool it and then hit delete. There we go. Oh my god. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, Alright, the uh, dude on you, red main. Uh, 24 should hit. Yep. Six damage. Oh, don't hit. Oh, an 18's gonna hit. Oh, yep, yeah, I'm dead. For 11. Um, Ostrovix, guy on yep. you. Yep. 10 should miss. Yep. And, that hits. Alright, so 8. Uh, Angeli. Oops. Uh, dude on you. 17. Uh, I give disadvantage. So a 15 will miss then. I can't hear Angelica. Uh, yeah, she's Oh, my, no, my fucking pop filter keeps muting. My mic keeps hitting it. Um, I have, I have plus two AC, so I'm at armor class 16 right now. So no, that does not hit. Oh, 17 doesn't hit? Oh, no, no 17, no, 17 hits. 17 okay. hits. I but 15 does not, right. So 15 you does not, you yes. do not take any damage. Um, Yay! Ironically Thanks, enough, Ostrovic. the only dude left in the bar is a dude who's like kind of just stumbling around and collapsing. Probably <laughs> this junk fuck over here. A bit too much and literally just collapses. My god. Um, Angeli, it's your turn. Okay.
Okay, I'm gonna, um... I'm gonna unarm... Th this guy on the right's not looking too hot still, right? Dude on the right is... Yeah, he's hurting bad. So wait, does this guy here have the girl right now? Does, she, does he have a... Uh, he's, he's grabbing Anna? at her. Uh, he does not have her yet. He flipped the table. Kind of surprise, motherfucker. Here I am. Okay, so if if I were to jump over Ostrovix, would that provoke an attack from the guys next to me? If it I want to try and would. fuck. Mm. Mm. Fuck. Will it attack? Will it provoke attack from both of them? Uh, or yes, just it one? It would provoke from both of them. Okay. Fine. I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Unarmed attack, uh... Actually, you know what? No! This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna spend a key point to mm -hmm. disengage. Okay. Step of the wind. And I'm gonna disengage and come over here. Okay. And I'm gonna attack this motherfucker. Oh, oh shit. Ah! Sorry, I was moving everything. <laughs> One second. Look, it's Kevin. Yeah. Hey, I'm busy. I'll talk to you later, okay? Bye. Fucking niece was bored. I wanted to make sure it wasn't a, like an emergency <laughs> issue. Um, okay, I had a Okay. I had armor attack him. Sixteen will hit. hit? Sweet. Seven. And uh, I'm going to attack again. 14 will not hit. Oh, fuck. Okay. All right. Ostrovix. Uh, you, you, you get, you gotta get in there, man. What, what, I, I what's, know. What's going on? Uh, I'll attack the one in the top left again. In the top left? Yeah, it it, it, it it doesn't matter. <laughs> um, what are these rolls? Feeling Bahamut's probably not too thrilled with the uh, little cobalt thing. No. Nice. This little vengeance coming back to you. Yes. Four in a row. <laughs> Dabster. Um, I'm going to potion up with my bonus action. Yep. Minor potion is uh, 2D, 2D, 1D6. 2D4 plus 2. Nice! Okay, so I'm at 16 now. Okay. And then I'm gonna attack this guy. 23 does hit. Let's just sneak. Oh my god! I mean, the, the stream would, and any future reference would be able to show it. He had exactly 14 hit points left. Hell yeah. Wow. You guys constantly do that. All through the last dungeon, too. Like, I, I feel like that's a oh, DM cheating. Like, oh, no, he just had enough in this tough fight. But literally, like, every time you guys, uh, you guys manage to take him down, he drops. Nice. Red main. Uh, I feel, uh, all of a sudden I feel healed, and I stand back up, and I, uh, I'm gonna use a screw of poison spray okay. on the bartender. I think it's, um, constitution save. Uh, six, I'm sure, doesn't. Yep. So, whatever, uh, do you have, I can look up poison spray. I think it's 1d20. <laughs> Not 20, 12, 12, 12. Um, which one, uh, the spell? Okay. Uh, did you roll the damage? Not yet. So yeah, roll a d12. Not bad. 
packs and coughs. Does poison spray not actually poison, though? I don't think so. That sucks. Yeah, it's just like a cantrip or something. Okay. Um... The dude is going to turn around here um, and, you know, he'll provoke an attack from you, Angeli, and backs up and snags the girl. No. Cut him up. So go ahead and roll uh, an attack of opportunity against him. Uh, what? Which one do I hit it's for that? It's just a normal attack. Um, oh. Your sword is that you could actually great sword him if you wanted to. Okay, yeah, yeah, I'll do that. I'll do that. Uh... Oh. Fourteen will not hit. He has her. Uh, it's going to be considered difficult. Um, Ostrovix. He'll do the same thing. If you want, remember, if you use that attack of opportunity, you can't use the disadvantage thing. That's all right. I'm not. I can't block anybody here, but. Yeah, I cannot block anybody here anyways. So I might as well attack. Okay, uh, go ahead. For another... Nine. 24 does hit! Yay. Uh, minus nine damage. Excellent. So... Did I, I get one? Uh... You would. Okay, I'll attack. Eighteen will hit. Nine. Nine points of damage. Uh, that is sneaking too, though. I uh, use it this turn now. Oh, you can only use it once per turn. You're right. You're right. Uh, so he's gonna move. There, to the bar with her. Um, the bartender himself is not gone yet. He's gonna get between you guys. And take his swings at you, Red. Seven will miss. Seventeen should hit. Yep. So take seven points of damage. Ostrovix, the veteran on you. Yep. Yep. Uh, Twenty will hit. Take five points of damage. Plus and then minus again. And uh, six will miss. Yep. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. All of a sudden, because more craziness is going on. Red main, make a dexterity saving throw. Red main, you succeed. Um, the bartender loses his footing and falls to the ground as the entire area um, right near there begins to just violently shake. Um, almost like a little mini localized earthquake. All right. Uh, Angeli. Yep. What are you doing? Oh, shit. I am, uh, I am fucking moving over here to get that girl. Okay. Um, so you're going to have to attack so, him with disadvantage right now because you can't hit her. You know, he's kind of got her locked up. Is there any way for me to try and pry her from his hands or, like, lessen his grip on her? Certainly. Um, you could roll opposing athletics checks. Mm, that's kind of a crapshoot. Um. Hmm. Okay, I'll try and do that. Okay, so you want to roll opposing athletics? 
when you say opposing athletics, so that's I'm just gonna, under. I'm going to roll my athletics. You're going to roll yours. Okay. And if you win, you'll take her back. If not, she will. Okay. So. He keeps hold of her. Motherfucker. I'm sorry. Okay, so I can still, I can still, that counts as an action, right? It does. So I still have one more thing I can do, right? Uh, or is that, no, that's all my moves, isn't it? That would be, yeah. Fuck. Um. So I got the die move. Okay. You could still die. I could still what? Die. Die? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah, you should die move. <laughs> Okay, yeah. Uh, and turn? Yeah, turns over. Ostrovix. Alright, now I'll go to attack the last one here. Yep. 16 will hit. Thanks for the password. 10 points of damage. Nice. Dabster. Uh, how does that guy look on, uh, on, my, uh, on my right? On your right. Yeah. On your left. Uh, sure. I mean, this uh, guy. Looks like he was just hit for the first time. In... Hmm. <coughs> um. So does this guy look uh, hostile? Doesn't seem to be. Barely seems to be conscious. And this guy looks uh, like he's busy with uh, Red Man. He's prone right now on the ground. If you went to attack him, you would get advantage on the attack. Okay. I'll do that then. I'll dash over here. Jump on a table. Boom, boom. Hey, oh, still in the bar. All right. Sure. I'll do the rapier hit. All right. Uh, 18 will hit. Five, and you're also sneak attacking. Yeah. So 11 points of damage to him. Yep. I wish you luck. I'll be back. Red main. Uh, he's prone, right? Yep. Okay, I'm gonna move back. Okay. Stand next to the fireplace, and I'll cast a uh, frostbite on the the guard attacking Ostrovix. This guy here. Yes. All right. You'll have to link for me, Frostbite. Uh, and I failed to target. Um, next one. Oh, nice. Uh. So he's got to make a Constitution save. Yep. Yeah. He does make. Fuck. It. Unfortunate. Um. Rolled rolled six damage too. Bartender dude is going to stand up. Um, here. Ostrovix. Um, not Ostrovix, sorry. Uh, Dabster. Yeah. Roll me a strength check. He grapples you. Ah. Uh, just has you completely tied up. Um, it's going to be difficult. So we're going to move you there. Uh, Please enter. Sorry. No worries. Go ahead and Angelie take a hit on him as he's trying to move the little girl out. Hello? Angelie? Sorry, I just got a phone call. I was going to listen to the message, but I'll do oh. my turn first. Yeah. Sorry. Well, no, if you could just do an attack of opportunity for me, please. Oh, yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. 21 does hit. 
Uh, and that's with the pummel, so minus 13 points. Perfect. Cool. Uh, and the last one. Um, he's going to just move here and here, so not ever leaving your spot, Ostrovix, and mm -hmm. attacking you. 18 no. hit. And an 8 no. does not hit. Fantastic. All right. And Shelly. Yes. I'm sorry. Just had to delete that. Okay. Uh, is this guy trying to make a break for it over here with uh, Annalyn? He is. Fucking, I'm going after him then. <laughs> they have one mission. Okay. Okay. Okay, this is what we're going to do. Moving over. Mm -hmm. I'm going to unarmed attack. Oh, but I'm at disadvantage. You are, because Fuck. Her. you obviously don't want to hurt her. You've got to be careful with her. Or do you? Or do you? Oh, or is there any way for me to try and subdue him from behind? If I were to get behind him somehow. He's kind of bad. There really isn't a facing direction in D&D. &D. Okay. Uh, as convenient and nice as it would be in combat like this, really not. All right, let's just fucking do it then. Whatever. Oh, does hit. I get I'm doing a disadvantage Not, yeah. though. So 19 does yeah. hit. Okay. Five points. Second attack. Fuck. Does not hit. I'm spending my last key point. Okay. Try and save her for two more unarmed attacks. 19 oh! will hit. Yes. Okay. Another eight. Nice. Last, last one. Fuck. Does not do enough. <laughs> Shit! Ostrovix. <laughs> we need to save that girl, Ostrovix! I'm like yeah, yelling. Great. Let. Come on! <laughs> I'm gonna move here and still attack the one to the right. Uh, you're attacking the one to the right? Yeah, the one that I've been attacking this whole time. <sighs> yeah, boy. Nice. That will work. Uh, actually, hey, I want to do this because I haven't done, actually hey. done this yet. I'm going to expend a spell slot, and with this damage, I'm going to Divine Smite. So the Divine Smite is going to be doubled as well. Shit, son. So I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to click this. And I'm going to click Divine Smite just to show you. Uh, okay, so how much is he getting there? So another 4d8. Plus the damage I'm doing. So 15, and then your actual, uh, and then that actual, that full damage there. So 15 yeah. plus, uh, 10, 25. That looks like it took a chunk out of him. Um, Sweet. Amazingly. As you see that guy breaking for it, um, Angelique, you see the drunkard stand up, just cold look in his eye, points a finger, and just a blackish purple red energy streaks out of his hand. Oh, shit. Striking the dude, holding the girl, and just oh. dropping him back. Yes! Killing him. Yes! Sick! Epic, dude. Epic! <laughs> uh, Dabster. This uh. dude is up, by the way. Sorry, you are... But I'm I'm getting uh, being grabbed right now, right? You are being grappled right now. So I need to do like a check to see if I can get out. Opposed athletics, correct? Uh, yeah, not so much. I have to do athletics. He's got you tight and wrapped. Um. Can I take my dagger and like uh, stab him from the side? 
You could with disadvantage. Okay. Wait, uh, so that was my first action, and then yep. I can do the second action. What are you trying to do? I uh, just type hip or something. So trying to break free was the action. Oh, so I'm done. Yep. Okay. Red main. Okay, I'm going to cast a uh, frostbite on the same target. Dude, right here. Yep. All right. He saves. Come on, boy. Um, the dude uh, grappling you, um, Dabster, upon seeing his buddy fall, will push you away and go to attack. Me? Yep. 16 hit you? Yeah. Take 11 points. Damn it, 5. Uh, seven misses. The final dude on, um, Ostrovix is going to attack. Fourteen should miss. Mm -hmm. Thirteen should miss. Mm -hmm. Angeli. Alright, I'm gonna move and, uh, I'll attack. Unarmed attack. Uh... Man, I this website annoys me sometimes because I pop out my character sheet and then it goes away after a while. Okay, here we go. Uh, 15 will not hit. Unfortunately. Second attack. Ooh, 26 that hits. will hit and crit. Yeah, it hits. A. Minus 12 points of damage. Um, Ostrovix. Uh, I guess I'll go make an attack on the same guy. 14 will not hit. Okay. <laughs> Dude, your luck, I, I really don't know what to tell you, man. Yeah, I know. Uh, Dabster. So I'm no longer being grappled, right? Correct. Okay, I'll disengage, and then go up to here. Mm-hmm. And then try to rape you this guy from behind. 24 will hit. Sneak. 7, 14 points of damage. Yeah. Your rapier just cuts right through. Uh, actually, Angeli is a perfect view of the tip of a rapier just sticking right out where the heart should be. And a little bit of beep, 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 heart still beating on it. Oh, he yeah. Falls and drops. Red main. I'll just uh I'll cast produce flame on the the bartender. Uh twelve will not hit. Drunkard. Or I'll make a uh... No, I got the bad luck. <laughs> um, dude is gonna run over here. Seeing the uh, stumbling dude fall. Attack with the longsword twice. So, eight damage and uh, does not hit on his second attack. Ah. Um. Little poof of mist. As this guy jumps away. Angeli. Okay, um. I mean. Last guy standing is our bartender friend. How's he looking right now? Could be better, could be worse. Okay. Well. I think I'm gonna take this turn to just uh, heal up. Okay. I have a greater potion of healing okay. that I'm going to use. Wait one sec. Sorry, sorry. One sec. Uh, Ostrovix. Um, do I, is, am I able to move diagonal or do I have to go like, do, nope, do, do, you can move diagonal. 
Oh, okay. So I'm just gonna move up to him then. All right. Um, make an attack with my longsword. Nineteen will hit. Eight points of damage. Perfect. Dabster. Um, take out my bow. Go here. Shoot this guy. Shoot it up. Wait, uh, sorry, really quick question. Um, yep. what do I roll again for potion of greater healing? Uh, to up my health. I know I, I get you guys there. Uh, I, I'd have to look it, uh, if you could look it up real quick. I, I don't have it right now on me. Yeah, I'll look it up. Um, Javster, a 14 does hit. He is oh. not as heavily armored as the other ones you were fighting. Six points of damage, minus 13. Perfect. Red main. Hey! Cool. So he takes four points of damage, cold damage. Yeah. And he is at yep. disadvantage. He will attack Ostrovix at disadvantage. Ten will not hit. And a thirteen will not hit. Uh, Anjali. Okay, now that I've healed up, I'm going to move over and assist Ostrovix. I'm attacking. Unarmed. Uh... 24 Ooh, yeah. does hit. Six points. Six. And second attack. 18. Hits. <laughs> Holy fuck. Did he have exactly five hit points left? He had exactly five hit points left as... <laughs> <laughs> just significant rage at them trying to capture Annalyn and everything going on. As beat up as you guys are, throw everything into a single roundhouse right to the temple. And, I mean, you can hear the sickening snap as his neck just turns awkwardly. Nice. And he drops dead and lifeless to the floor. Sweet. Cool. Woohoo! We did it, guys. Good job. <laughs> do uh do the uh do the patrons emerge after hearing the the fighting stop or are they just going to chill in there? <laughs> it's only been a little bit of time. I think most people uh I mean you're seeing them there. Uh truth be told, most of them are either upstairs or in the basement. Gotcha. Uh I'm going to come up to the bartender and just stab him. Oh, I thought the you were going to, like, teabag him or something. <laughs> no. Double tap, boy. This fucking... I'll stab him through the heart with my scimitar. And then I'll uh, jump over the bar and grab some more booze. And say, guys, we should probably leave. Yeah. Not only should you leave, you should come with me. Who are you? Who are you? Somebody's got to say, who are you? And you have emphasis on every one. My name is McLeod. I hand them a piece of paper. Uh, yep, I'm getting them now. No, stop. Sorry, roll 20s. Uh, being a little finicky. Oh, that's good. Uh oh, we lost him. Yeah, they didn't get my face right. <laughs> Is this a threat? We're there. Damn yep. it. Yep, you're there. All right. Um, this, I don't, I don't, I don't know this character's name. The guy in the middle, Mike. Ostrovix. Ostrovix. Um, I healed Ostrovix and Angelica for whatever that roll was, six points. Thank you. 
My name is McLeod. Um, I'm looking for you. I work for Devesh. And we need to go. Devesh? What does Devesh, Devesh. want with us? Devesh is worried that you're in trouble. I think Devesh is trying to collect the reward. That's very true. Well, he still owes us camels, as anyways. So if we're gonna go with him to see Devesh, we might as well, because we still need to travel out of this godforsaken town. But what if we are walking into a trap, though, Ostrovix? As opposed to the one you just walked into? I mean, we handled it pretty well. If yeah, we because go back... I saved your ass twice. <laughs> we oh, I, oh, by the way, I, I, sorry. Um, I'm going to reach onto Angelica's shirt and pull the spider <laughs> off of it. Oh, my God. This is, this I didn't is, even notice this, that. Shit. Yeah, this is rocks. He saved your ass when you fell unconscious. Oh, my God. Wow. Thank you so much. Really, I greatly appreciate that. Yeah, I can tell. Oh, my God. No, you saved my life, dude. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so, And more importantly, he did save the girl. But I don't know. How's uh, know, how's Annalyn? Is she okay? Yeah, she's, is she okay? She's hiding um, behind the chair there, seeing everything's coming out, you know, kind of coming back uh, towards Anjali and, uh, you know, gripping back at the leg again. So, uh, I don't think any of us performed well in this ambush, and without his help, we would have all died or been captured because all of us were having different problems so for now i say we go with him and see what devesh has to say all right let's you realize the in, the entire elven embassy is looking for you right now why i'm not exactly sure but i know where we can go and this is not that place where is it then um it's this way <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> so a uh, couple of options for you, uh, just kind of laying stuff out. Um, you can start heading right towards that house uh, that uh, Dove Ash had set aside, uh, McLeod. This was one that's in the slums of Kashaval. Um, probably have to be somewhat sneaky stealthy. Um, don't want to make yourselves too obvious of who you are. You are being hunted, you are being looked for, for obvious reasons. Uh, if uh, McLeod, you know that you're from Kashaval, you know it well. Um, there are some other places you can go if you want to just lay low for a little bit, patch yourselves up, recover up, heal up. Um, there's certainly some other, you know, you, you know enough safe spaces, so to speak, that that would be We could go there. That, that would be fine. Some place where we can get out of public. And they're out of the sewers. I like the sewers. And I could, I could tell them the little bit that I know. Um, okay. Uh, so you're gonna head to one of your uh, little safe spots. Or yes. Right to okay. Yes, but but first I'm gonna take some embers out of the fireplace and scatter them across the floor and catch this rug on fire. Easy enough to do. Um, what about you, the people? I'm we're gonna go get them out. Okay. So we're gonna uh, burn this place down. Most of the folk good idea. have a lot of questions. Uh you going up uh to the doorway nope. there? Alright, so let me this is a front door? Yes. And and what's up here? That's the second floor with uh tavern rooms and stuff on that. Okay. So right here. I'm going to cast a silent image. I'm going to cast a, we'll cast a couple bonfires. The little, they're just actual fires. They're, they're little cantrip, five foot cube. Actually does damage. And then a the silent image here. Run in, get them. And we'll just make a path for them through the door. Tell them the whole place is on fire. They won't be able to see the rest of it yet. Good enough. That's a, that's a good plan. So, Barb, you can spread. And, again, remember one of the hardest things in D&D &D 
is your concept of time. While this battle definitely took a while, in reality it was under five minutes. Wow. Right. Um, so it, it can be hard to kind of wrap yourselves around what had just happened. Uh, obviously a lot of calls of, what happened? What is, is it safe? It's, what, what, what's going on? What You know, um, but most people smelling the smoke, seeing the smoke, uh, seeing what's going on. Everybody's running out. Um, actually, probably super easy to get lost in the crowd. You start seeing town watch, town guards uh, coming through. But um, with McLeod's help, uh, you're kind of able to sneak and duck in. We start passing the, passing the idea that it was a Dark Elf Rogue Gang. Okay. Uh, just whispering that to a few of the folks. Yeah. Is there? Yeah. Okay. Uh, people in the kitchen. Yeah. Rumors catch yep. just as quick as fire, and that seems to be the consensus. Um, all right. We are going to head over to one of McLeod's houses, a uh, place I don't actually have a map for, but not a huge deal. Um, just kind of a, a little home out of the way, and we're going to take, I'll say, about a 10 15 minute break. Um, grab some snackages, grab some footages, and uh, when we come back, we'll continue. All right. Cool. Good enough? Cool. Yeah. All right, guys. <clears throat>